Hi, uh, my name is Brian Bruce. I am 45 and from Long Island. I uh, spent 10 years active duty as a Navy CB and I'm still in the reserve. And we have to get rid of this commander in chief. My family has a bizarre history with the military, I guess, or kind of a rare one, that every war that the country's had pretty much since World War I, uh, at least one, mem one, one member of every generation of my family served. So we basically when things went wrong or the country needed, both sides of my family stepped up, just like a lot of American families did. When I see that they knew, or Trump knew, or the administration knew what Putin was doing, what Russia was doing, it's not so much that he hadn't talked about it in the press, because I do realize that some stuff has to be kept. I know that. It's intelligence. But to keep inviting the man to the United States when he knew this was going on, trying to get him back in the G8? Are you effing kidding me? It, it, it boggles the mind that he would think of doing this. I and mean, it's embarrassing. I am nothing special by any stretch of the imagination. I'm an average soldier at best an average person at best with a lot of faults. But the one thing I've always been the most proud of is my service. And I'm so proud of it. And I'm so proud of my family and their history. We can't, it's going to take us years to get over him, to get over his administration. And if there's four more years of it, and I hate to agree with John Bolton, we're going to be dealing with this for generations to clean this effing mess up. We've got to do this, guys. And I'm pretty conservative, but we got to stop this guy. He's an embarrassment. He's making the people who volunteer like it's not a big deal. That he does not care what happened to us as long as his poll numbers go up. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that he is a one-term president and he is known as the loser and the coward and the bully that he is. Thank you.